What's up, guys, and welcome to a new series that we are doing called the monthly wrap up. Not <laughs> very creative, I know, but it's basically just going to be an end of the month ish video where we go over what we played, some of the things that we really enjoyed, new stuff, what we played the most. Pretty much it. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Yeah. In the month of May for 2024, we played 18 different games for a total of... Wow, that's actually quite a bit. For a total of 30 plays, which, why she said that, is so far our most plays in a month um, for this year. I'm sorry if you hear a banshee yelling in the back. <laughs> it's our children are, don't want to go to sleep. But anyways, yeah. 18 different games, over 30 plays for the month of May, which I think is pretty cool. Our top three plays, if you have if you follow us on Instagram, then you already have seen all of the plays. The number one is this very big surprise. And number one is, as it has been number one for the past couple months now. few months, Arc Nova, whoop, whoop. with a total of five plays this month, which is kind of insane. Okay, we're going to preface that with five, like actual physical games we've probably played we've played a lot more we've played a lot more online but i just don't take the time to count them online yeah so that's five physical in-person plays yeah which very cool we'll see how long it can stay on top so far it's actually a few months that it has been number one mm -hmm. um second well second and third are a tie with three plays each bird watcher which is a game okay. that I got <laughs> as a gift um, from Kevin, who is normally on the podcast, and Inventions, which is... A Lacerda game. The newest... Is it the newest? I think it's the newest. One of the newer... It's released this year. One of the newer uh, Vital Lacerda slash Eagle Griffin slash Eno Tool games. And we played it three One times. Of the big, beautiful boxes. Yes, it's really awesome. We've played it three times, mostly because of me, but we'll go more into that later. And then the next thing we're going to talk about is the four games that we've played that were new to us. Um, we actually only own two of these. Um, the other two were games that friends own, or we play. He played at Black Potion. Um, two of these I didn't even play. It's mostly just you. What are they? So, obviously, we got Inventions this month, and we played it a lot already. Um, and then Brew is the other one that I played. Mm -hmm. um, by Pandasaurus. By Pandasaurus. And then it's we... It's a cute little game, isn't it? Yeah, so cute. So, so cute. And then Sebastian actually ended up getting the full in... Um, everything included foundations of Rome. That's a game that we've actually been looking at for a long time to get just the minis in the board presence is just super beautiful. Yeah. Um, so we've been looking to get that one for a while and he actually got to, you played it quite a few times, right? I played a couple times. Was it just twice? I played it twice in, in one day, in two days. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is, which is a lot for our games and especially games that we just get. I yeah. learned it and played it the same day, which is unheard of in this house. <laughs> um, and then the last one is Lords of Waterdeep. That's one that Sebastian ended up playing without me. Mm -hmm. I was uh, at Black Potion to play another game that I really wanted to play. No one else wanted to. And <laughs> so Enrique, the owner of Black Potion, was very kind and offered to teach and play Lords of Waterdeep with me. And it was fun. He beat me at the end, but I did enjoy the game. Very simple worker placement game, but there is still a lot of decision space to be made. So, cool game. Cool game. Yeah, I haven't played it, so we'll see. We'll see. And then I don't think you'll like it because you can poke people. <sighs> very slightly, you can poke people, but it's very obvious too is the thing because everyone knows what everyone needs, mm -hmm. so you can be like, "Well, you're not getting that." Now we're going to go into our favorite. favorite plays for the month. So my favorite play. Can you guess which game is my favorite? Maracaibo. Nope. Birdwatcher. Nope. I don't know. Castle of Burgundy. Yeah, we did play that this we month. We did. I know we played it because we played it for our BOTG. And Lord, does that game make my heart happy. 
I just, it's my favorite. I think it forever will be my favorite. Um, just, and we have the upgraded version. So the table presence and everything that comes with it. And then Kevin was oh so nice to me and brought his acrylic tokens that were missing over. So we got to play with those. It's just so satisfying and so beautiful. And the gameplay of castles is just phenomenal. And my puzzle brain is just so satisfied at the end of the end of the game when you've filled the majority of your board. And then with this, you also have the vine expansion. So just using those, it's just. We have yet to do the trade expansion, whatever, or whatever those extra tiles are. There's those extra tiles where when you sell goods of a certain type, you get stuff. We need to do that. I need to learn it. I think that's what it does, but it is a good game. I, I used to so I used to hate on it a lot, um, but it has grown on me. And the fact that it is extremely upgraded now mm-hmm. helps. Um, but yeah, I like it a lot. Too. And we backed the acrylic tokens to get we those We did now, do the game found. Makes me so happy. We pledged to get those. We'll finally have it all. Yep. It's just going to take. I will have it all. Just going to take 18 months and then we'll get <laughs> the tokens that we that we need. Why do you have to say it like that? <laughs> and my favorite play, if you couldn't tell from the uh, how much Surprise. I already talked about it, Surprise. is inventions, evolution of ideas. I don't know what it is about that game, but I, I'm just co- I compare like the Lacerdas to each other. I've only played two of them, which or three of them now, which is Kanban and Inventions, and another one I won't mention because technically it happened in June, but. I, li- I like Kanban. I like playing it. I could tell from 10 minutes into being taught th- the game of inventions, I was like, I'm going to like this more than Kanban. And I do. I did, and I do still. And it, maybe it'll change back, but currently inventions is holding a, a big place in my heart right now. So that's my highlight play of the month. If you haven't played it, I recommend you try and find someone who owns it to teach it to you because it's expensive. And I'm kind of glad that I got to play it three times before being like, okay, I want to own this. And surprise, surprise, we went out and bought it. We did find... Because Sebastian needs it. We found the um, the bundle with the up with the Kickstarter upgrades in it. And we have had membership with the retail store. So we got a huge discount. Instead of being 170 it was 120 which... Still expensive, but still, that's big, such big, a big deal, right? So, yeah, and uh, that's it for that. And now we're gonna move on to well, no, okay, back up, sir. Oh, really? I don't get to say anything about inventions. Oh, you want to? Yeah, I want to talk I about thought you inventions. Hated it. So, this guy was in love with the game two seconds into the, the teach, and me, like, it, it seemed cool. It seemed cool, but it was a lot for my teeny little brain. Um, That's not true. You don't have a teeny brain. Technically, you've only played it twice. Because one of those was without you. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying. I played it the first time with you, though. You did. You did. Anyways. You're going to have a lot of edits in this one. Anyways, go on. I forgot what I was saying. It was a, it was a lot for your teeny brain. <laughs> <laughs> which I disagree with. You're very smart. Um, but as, as you start actually getting into the game and playing it, the way that, the way that it all comes together is just so seamless and so beautiful and like so Lacerda, like you can just see with, with playing multiples of his games, how they all just like, it's so much, there's so much going on in one place. Um, and then the other one that we played, which we're not allowed to mention yet, um, was kind of the same way and like the more of them that you play, you just kind of see how yeah, you, you it see all wraps together into this beautiful little package and the bow on top. And it's just so nice to sit down and play them all the way through. It's just weird because playing the different ones, it does feel like they are just different combinations implemented in different ways. But of, they're different of games. similar things. But they are so like. But they are so different, different in the way that, you know, those me- those mechanisms are applied. And they all just, they just come together so beautifully, and I think that's one of the 
like big reasons why I enjoy his games. No. Is there so much? And usually like with games, there's just not that much going on. There's like one or two things that you're supposed to be doing and cool. This has like six or seven different things you can do in a turn. And it's like Chain actions. Woo. And you never really like I guess this is kind of a thing that I'm not a huge fan of it for is like the turns never feel full. You, yeah, you, you feel like you didn't do enough every yes, turn. Yes, because there's so many things that you can do and like the way that you can chain, like he was talking about, chain your actions. Most of the time you don't even use those and it just feels like a waste. It does. I, I almost always try to make sure I'm just doing something to it get has a, a chain, chain action. action. Mm-hmm. And it like, I don't know, sometimes can feel very like non-fulfilled. Well, also, you just see it all come together in the end and it's like, okay, I see it. Well, you, you end up making up for some stuff, right? Which maybe we do a deep dive on inventions later because we're just talking about just inventions. No, I'm talking about a lot of them, like oh. most of his games. Oh. But, Yes. I did enjoy Inventions as well, just not quite as much as Sebastian did. To be fair, I enjoyed it a heck of a whole lot, so I, I understand. But yeah, those were, that was the new games that we played, the, our highlights. And we'll move on now to what we are excited for for next month. Any specific games you want to play, just kind of like a number of games you want to try and hit the most of the month again. Oh my I goodness. Don't I don't know if we're going to hit June the most. We have a busy hard. month for us. Um, I want to, we're probably going to play some games with my family because um, we're going to see my family. So I'm kind of excited to play some of the smaller ones. Um, my brother is, I think he's 12. Yeah, I think he's 12. But he really, he is super into board games. He's really and taken to them. Yeah. Not that. Not for lack of trying. My family does try, but they're just not really board game people. So I'm really excited to go and take some of our games and play with my brother and, I don't know, play some smaller ones. Yeah, we have we have a few that I think will be, like, good for over there, you know. Mlem, I think it'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Maybe Mino Dice, I don't know. Mino Dice would be, I think my whole family would play that yeah. one. But... That's Kenzie. Is that is that pretty much what you want to do? Get some family games played? Yeah. All right. Because last month was complete big games. I don't know. I'm we, looking we played forward. Birdwatcher three times. Yeah, yeah, because I forced you to. Not forced. It's a beautiful game. I enjoy it. It's great. I am looking forward to finally getting... It's not, on Mars. it's not on there because I was trying to get it played. But I'm looking forward to getting on Mars onto the table and played. And I say those things separately <laughs> because I have gotten it onto a table before and then had to put it back away after struggling through a horrible teaching session that I, me, that I was conducting. Not good. I was not prepared. So we just put it away and played something else. But I watched an entire playthrough. Um, I feel very confident now that I can explain the things on the board and what they mean and how you do the stuff. That is to be determined. Yeah. But I'm excited to, you know, try to try to play it and 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 get that play under under my belt. I'm actually really excited to play on Mars too. Um, that's one of them that I've seen talked about everywhere, and everybody talks about how great of a game it is. And I feel like there's a little bit of a build up to it now. With like, for me, there is definitely because I've been we've so played Lacerda after Lacerda after Lacerda, and now we're gonna play the one. And we've had on Mars. We bought it before was- we moved. Two years ago. Was it the first one we owned or was Ken Ben the first one we owned? I don't know. But we bought On Mars in Maryland. Yeah, years ago. And we have yet to play it. But so, I'm finally ready. I'm very I think excited. I'm finally ready. But yeah. I'm pretty excited to get that at the table. Full of anticipation to play that. And, you know, whatever else we get to play. I just mm-hmm. like playing and I think it'll be cool. Now that I'm not in class, we can play more games too. Except in June, we just have a very busy month. Yeah, June is going to be crazy. But But July, hopefully July will be good. I don't think we have a lot planned in July. FlinkCon. You guys are going to FlinkCon. I'll be there. So play a game with me. Anyways, that's going to do it for the May monthly wrap-up. We're going to try to do these consistently. 
Who knows? If we only play four games this month, maybe it won't be worth it, and you guys can we just can deep dive into those four games and only those yeah. four games. Or maybe you'll just see the Instagram post that says the four games that we played. Of but, our BG stats, yeah. Yeah. And if you want to rather see it in picture form, go check out our Instagram. Yeah. Right here. Bloop. Bloop. What's the second one? <laughs> no. It just says click on the other one. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next month with another wrap-up. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys.